Hello everyone, I am Devra Acharya, PhD research scholar from Bennett University. Welcome you all in this video tutorial lecture that contains the code demonstration of Twitter based opinion mining which is using the RNN that is recurrent neural network. So previous in the previous video we have already done till this point and now we are in a stage where we are defining a recurrent neural network model that is opinion mining classifier based on tens or you can say that it is a tensor flow based opinion mining classifier so the batch size that we have to define is that we have defined here is 24 lstm units that is the long short term memory units which i forgot get also which only stores the important part has a uh, the number of units which we are using in this classifier is 64 and the num classes are equal to 2 and the duration for which it will work is 10,000. After every 10,000, uh, a new iteration will work. So, uh, for every epoch, the value is 10,000. So, uh, then we are defining here some helper function which will help in testing at the time of testing. So, uh, some labels and hyperparameters are tuned in this uh, some random integers are also generated and now the we have to do the same we have to define helper function for training batch and same some helper functions are defined for test batch now labels that are in the form of 0 1 if 1 0 that positive and if 0 1 then the review is negative so labels are also to be defined that is tf dot placeholder in which the tf dot float it will take a float value batch size and non classes arguments are passed and same is so data is also defined here and lstm cells are also defined here where well, the cell is equal to lstm cell and output key probability is kept as 0.75 now hyperparameters are tuned here in this code section value weight bias value last these are defined here so the value that it will take is 102 and then the prediction and correct prediction accuracy loss are is to be calculated and optimizer is also used that is adam optimizer and for this purpose here is the code that we have how prediction is to be made and how correct prediction can be checked how accuracy is calculated and then mean of all the accuracies per iteration is to be taken and for loss uh, mean of uh, softmax function is applied here and then mean of softmax cross entropy with logistic is calculated and for optimizer tf dot train adam optimizer is used and which is of dot product of minimize uh, of loss minimize loss is taken here so tf dot summary scalar loss is calculated and tf dot summary dot scalar accuracy is calculated here then merging is to be done and directory is to be load and then we have to write this so after doing uh, after defining all the hyperparameter we have to load you can go with two process like either you can load a pre-trained model or you can train a model since here as i am demonstrating the code while training a model will take couple of hours so we are loading a pre-trained model so some sessions are already defined the model is already trained and here in this code i am just only loading that pre-trained model which has following argument so uh, new batches are here the iteration is like i for i in range and iterations are to be defined like new batches of reviews to be taken so sessions are defined here and we have to write and if you watch if you want to watch the progress of your uh, classifier then you can write the summary to the tensor board so that after every iteration a summary is to be written in the tensor board which can be seen so and after every 10,000 training iteration we have to save the network and I also have to calculate the uh, some checkpoint models pre-trained LSTM checkpoints are to be saved and also you can calculate accuracy per iteration. So like the number of iteration for which we are going to uh, do this uh, 
training is 10 and for every iteration from 1 to 10 the, the time uh, the whole batch is going to iterate is for 10 for 10,000 uh, times so here is the code that will print the that will take the next batch and get test batches also and then print the accuracy for this batch and at the end since i'm not writing this code because it will take a lot of time so we are going to finally run the code that is in the test form that is the code which is uh, in which we have tested our model so at the end of the uh, when the process is to complete then the accuracy per iteration is uh, printed in this so uh, i have taken some screenshots here and if you go through those screenshots that is I'm not able to open it right now so maybe we will be able to see uh, as we have already seen those uh, accuracies in the in our presentation that gives us a graph between lows and accuracy so those were the values of accuracy for particular batch and this iteration will go on from 1 to 10 now let's see the code for testing the model So uh, in this in this code, we are going to test the model which is already pre-trained on the training database. Now we are going to test this classifier on test database data set. So already we have to import the same packages which we have imported in the training session. So now hyperparameter are to be defined like num dimension that we are going to use is 300 maximum sequence length. For testing purpose is 250, the length of the sequence that is maximum is 250 words. So, batch size here is kept as 24, LSTM units which we are going to use for testing purpose is 24, num class is equal to 2 and the iteration is again is for this much. So, now we have to load the data set which contains testing and training data so the same uh, command is to be written down now then we have to create the graph and since we have already created it once so i have already explained this uh, creation of graph like labels input data data lstm set cell hyperparameters tuning is already defined in the previous program so then we have to load in the network and since we have already trained our network, so we just directly can load the our, our classifier in the network by correct prediction and accuracy, which were already calculated in the previous program. And then sessions are there to load the pre-trained model. Now, uh, since we have loaded the data set, now we have to do the format checking of sentence. And for format checking, we have to do the pre-processing. That is, we have to remove punctuation, parenthesis, question marks, and leave only alphanumeric character. That is the language used by humans. That is in Hindi, English. That is Hindi plus English. So now, this is the code by which it will replace and remove all the punctuation, parenthesis, question marks, emoticons, URLs. So uh, next is we have to get sentence matrix and for that purpose we, here is the code like clean sentence matrix is defined here then clean clean sentence matrix after pre-processing that is to be done on the word vector is stored here and then splitting is to be splitting is done like uh, we have split our data set into two process that is in sentence matrix uh, like 
which is described here in the vector for unknown word is also described now testing for now we can do the testing for input text that is here the testing with one input test is done that is input text equal to that movie was terrible and when we write these kind of input text now our system has to classify that either the data is either the opinion or the movie review is positive or negative since the input matrix is also generated for this that gets sentence matrix into that is that contains input text so matrix is developed and now the system has to classify and as we can see in the results the system has predicted it as a negative sentiment and which is correctly predicted and now we can even test it for second sentence also or second input statement and when we do this for the movie was the best one i have ever seen so after Testing with the second in input, the predicted sentiment is positive state sentiment. So here we can say that the uh, classifier, that the opinion mining classifier, which we are we have trained on IMDb dataset, is predicting clearly. So the accuracy of this uh, classifier is increasing and reaching up to hundred percent, while the loss is steadily decreasing. So we can say that the prediction rate of uh, this class opinion mining classifier is very accurate but we must have to consider one point like while we are going to tune the hyperparameters we must have to consider that the loss and accuracy will depend on the uh, tuning of hyperparameters so more accu accurate uh, the classifier you want to have the more perfect hyperparameter tuning is to be done like learning rate must be defined clearly uh, correctly and by doing um, if you change hyperparameter you can see the difference in accuracy also so we also have to take care of the point of the important factor that is we do not have to make any kind of classifier that is overfit that is in the form of overfit so and while wrapping up this video we can say that we have successfully developed one testing model that is based on that is based on recurrent neural network it also uses lstm so it's an opinion mining classifier that is tensorflow based opinion mining classifier and since uh, we have trained and tested our model on imdb movie data set and also we have got data set from Ghana and we have pre-processed manually pre-processed the data set now the next video will contain the training and testing of the Ghana tweets which will be explained in the next video hope you got an idea, a very clear idea like how to develop a classifier that is RNN based for opinion mining so thank you very much for watching this video